this picture is taken from Montgomery uh, Statistical uh, Quality Control. Uh, I'm going to show you how to create these probabilities in Excel. Um, uh, if, when the process is centered uh, with some targeted uh, mean value, imagine that we want to produce a cup of coffee at 180 degree Fahrenheit. So that would be our target mean um, value. And then if it's uh, one is standard less, two is standard less, and this is how the normal distribution curve look like. So if we have a coffee machine that only can make sure that it only produce coffee within one standard deviation, uh, then how many cups of coffees will be within the specification? That is 68.27%. Uh, and rest about 32% uh, will be out of the specification we call non-conformance. Uh, let's open a Excel file and then um, create that, prob uh, calculate that probability. So the calculate between in Excel um, uh, probabilities, there is a function called norms dist. Uh, before we write that function, I would like to create the range of areas that we are interested to calculate the probability. So we are looking at between uh, plus minus one sigma, two sigma, all the way to six sigma. So if that is our specification limit, I would like to make these cells uh, wrapped in text so I get some more space to work with. And I would like to call that lower spec limit and then upper uh, specification limit and then uh, area before the lower spec limit and area before the upper spec limit if we get this area in Excel we can calculate area cumulative area so let's uh, assign these numbers, this standard deviation, 1, minus 1, 2, plus 1, and then between, if your machine is capable to produce between two standard deviations, so plus, minus 1, 2, minus 2, 2, plus 2, and then we want to see all the way, assume that we have a machine that can produce up to six sigma standard. So let's go. Now to calculate area, that is, a, um, because we are using a normal, standard normal distribution, we'll explain later in probability section what's the difference between standard normal and uh, just regular normal. In this case, we are using a standard normal. In Excel, the function for a standard normal is norms dist. Uh, I would like to type this in capital letters that because it's easy to see um, but this is not case sensitive so you can type anything. So norms dist we, only, we are interested in calculating area um, in the under the normal distribution curve uh, up to negative one. So this function will give you area all the way from the uh, left side up to negative one. As you know, normal distribution, it never touches x-axis, so it's kind of flattened out. It goes all the way to infinite. Now I can copy this cell, and it will calculate probability for corresponding uh, values. So this will calculate up to negative two. This will calculate up to negative three, and so on. And then we can calculate the area before one. So equal same thing. Norms dist parenthesis. Choose the value. This will calculate all the way up to one from the left side up to one. And then copy that all the way down. Then we are interested in between minus one and plus one. 
so if we subtract this value from this then we can get the area now I, I would like to go back to that picture again um, the one from the Montgomery statistical quality control uh, this is also Bester field book 2 you have the same pictures um, I just have a um, access to permission to use this picture so I'm using this um, so we calculated when we write norms test 1 it gives you minus 1 it gives you all this area before this point 1 and then when we wrote norms test 1 it gives you all the area before this line now we want to calculate if you want to calculate between minus 1 and plus 1 then we can subtract all this area before from all this area before plus 1 this will give the 62.68.27 percent uh, let's go back to Excel uh, let's find out so this should be equal to 68.27 as you can see um, probability is within one in Excel it um, in Montgomery book is expressed uh, in percentage so percent um, conformance so we have a machine now that can only produce up to standard deviation between one so if we want to see out of 100 we can multiply by 100 that will give us the percentage value so every 100 68.27 product will be within a specification so non for men's would be now if you want to calculate the person non conformance we can get equals 100 so if 62 68.27 7 uh, within conformance out of 100 then non conformance will be 100 minus this value now I copy all the way down as you can see the numbers are too small uh, if we have a machine that can produce up to uh, six sigma standard uh, this is uh, 1.97 so I can see only two percent out of a 10 million product will be defective so typically this percent non-conformance is expressed in typo here Con the it is typically present in uh, percent non-conformance in parts per million per million so non-conformance per million In that case, um, we have to multiply this with uh, 100,000. So this equals this times 1, 0, 0, 0, and then 0. Because we already multiply by 100. So as you can see here, only point zero zero two out of a million will be defective if we can ensure things uh, you know in six sigma standard now uh, let's go ahead and calculate uh, process capability for each of this machine uh, it is expressed uh, uh, using CP capital C small p the formula for process capability I'm going to show you right now so that's the formula for process capability um, upper specification limit minus lower specification limit divided by six sigma this is based on six sigma standard that's why the it's divided by six sigma so our machine is producing when you say 
between one standard deviation so that would be equals uh, upper minus lower close the parenthesis divide by six divide by standard deviation one in this case let's do this way and then copy all the way down for so for each of these cases the uh, the process capability is uh, for the machine that can produce only within one standard deviation it its process capability is only 33 uh, percent 1.33 is the recommended uh, if anything goes lower then you go further investigation um, things like that uh, all right so that's it for a uh, centered process uh, centered process uh, non-conformance or conformance calculation so I would like to call this the centered process non-conformance calculation I'd like to go back to that Montgomery picture again to show you uh, what we have actually done. So this is what we have calculated. In addition to that, I cal calculated the process capability. Uh, in the Bester field book, it has that um, um, column too. And also Montgomery later discussed that. Uh, 